What's up everyone, this is your boy Chris, back with another reptile video. For those who have watched my previous video, I wanted to just thank you guys again for subscribing my channel. And in today's video, I'm basically going to show you guys our new hatchling that hatched out last week. Um, and also I'm going to cover their, his parents as well to give you guys some reference. So if you have any questions or if you guys want to see something else uh, more than this hatchling, Feel free to write a comment down below and I'll try to come up with another type of video like this again in the future. For those who are new to my channel, I basically review reptiles, products, reptiles that I have and what I'm working on for this year and next year in, in the near future. So it's worth checking in every time and stay tuned for my channel because I'm going to drop a lot of good things and especially um, I'm also working on some products as well for our leopard geckos and red ox flosking. So stay tuned to see what I created for my pets. And let's stop wasting our time and get into it. Okay, so this is another top for our second hatchling. As I have shown you in the previous video, I used the same hide um, with this hatchling as well. And when I lift this up, it is a orange color. It may be very similar to the previous one, but when you compare both both of the video, um, which I do have in my channel, you can check it out if you want to see the comparison. This one has more dark pattern on its back. The other one has more like lighter color, like pinkish color, I think. But this one is a little bit darker. Good thing is that this boy is very calm and quiet. Although he's a little bit shy, he likes to hide a lot. Um, I want to just give you some visual on how he actually looks. This is how he actually looks and he hasn't shed or eaten any food yet. So I will have to put him back in again. But one thing I want to just let you know, I'm not supposed to touch them in the beginning. When they're just hatched out, their skins are super sensitive. So you really, really want to walk wait until they shed for the first time and after you feed them mealworms or dubia roots um, that's a bit better but right now he's he hasn't shed or he hasn't pooped anything I haven't found any poop yet so far so I'll have to put him back in and give you guys the picture I mean to give you guys the visual for his parents so this is the male and you guys probably wonder why I have this yellow paper sticking on this plastic top, right? So what, this is one of my thing that I do. Uh, basically, when they just hatch out, since they don't eat or you're not, I'm not sure if you're not supposed to feed them, but usually I would just wait until they poop or shed. And once I see, when I find their poop, then I will just take this off and start feeding mealworms. Um, basically, this is just to remind myself that they haven't pooped or shed yet, so I have to keep my eyes on them as much as possible to see if they're ready to eat or not. This is the genetics from their parents. High Collar Project Tramper Tangerin line from Gordon Valley Reptile Breeder. This is a female, which she also has the red stripe on his, her body and hat eclipse, which I'm going to show you very soon. So stay tuned for that and bt is basically a short letter of blood tangerine line uh, the dad is the same parents it's the same dad from the first hatchling you'll see the same leopard gecko in this video as well and dob is the date of birth which is april 18 2020. i'll cover this information again just in case for our new viewers basically i put the top super humid i'll put the water soak into this paper towel. And as you can see these, when you put this in the rack system, the water will condense on the wall. So when they're dehydrated, they will drink these water whenever they need to. And also I didn't put any food dish yet since they haven't shed anything. Uh, but once they, I see their poop and shed, um, then that's when I will place the dish. And sometimes I would even hand feed them too, just in case. In the beginning, like the first day I would hand feed them, because they don't really know what the mealworm is since they just hatched out. So I'll just split the hat out and um, let them taste the juice inside the mealworms um, to train them to eat the mealworms. So this is the hatchling that I got. Um, it's the second hatchling of this year. And let me show you the parents. 
So, as you can see, this is the dad and this is a mom right here. And that is a blood super hypotension as I've shown you before in the previous video. And this is the one that I need to show you in this video. As you can see, she has some pattern right here, the restaurant pattern, and some white patterns on its back. I was actually expecting more like ladybug patterns because her mom um, has that kind of pattern and I thought that was super cool. So I was expecting to see those type of pattern, but unfortunately I couldn't find that pattern on her after she shed, but it's still really, really nice. Oh, meanwhile, I was trying to record the video. This male tried to escape, so let me put that back in there. No, no, stay there. I'll end this video very quick. So just wait for a couple seconds and chill there for a couple minutes. All right, so this female has some patterns there. And also you can see this one has a triple albino eye, which is the white color with the red vein around it. And right now it looks like a snake eye because um, they're a bit more sensitive towards the right light um, for the albino light. And that's how you can tell if this uh, gecko has albino genetics or not. But she's the uh, mom of the hatchling and she has been producing really, really a lot of healthy eggs so far. So I really, really try to keep her in a good condition all the time. She also has another egg in her body right now, so I'm not gonna touch it a lot. But here is the better view. So I'm gonna put her back in. Oh, and by the way, this is not the top for my others. I just like to put it in here just to show you guys. So don't get confused, I, I don't keep them in this small tub. This is basically a hatching tub. I have extra, so I wanted to just bring in all together and I wanted to show you guys the comparison. I hope this video helped. And if you have any other questions, feel free to write a comment down below and I'll try to come up with another video like this. But I do have a tons of eggs right now incubating in my incubator. So I'll be probably releasing those videos like this again in near future. But if you want to check out some other things from my channel, you can feel free to contact me through the Instagram right here or here. I don't remember which location it was, but it's going to be on the top. And I'll try to come up with this video or give you a reply through the comment or through DM. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Get going.